I first visited Yukon in 2013. While I was there, I began to learn a little about the gold rush at the heart of Yukon history. I was hooked. I started to write. It was Skookum Jim, First Nation named Keish, who made the first big discovery of gold in Rabbit Creek, which started the Great Stampede. I like to think it was Keish's kindness in rescuing a coast frog from a ditch and the mystery of dreams that led to that first great discovery. Tight in a blanket he rode on his mother. Child of the wolf clan, bear was his brother. Ran where the moose ran, bronze brown and laughing. Knew what his bones knew before his arriving. Tales of the Yukon passed on with the telling. Smelled the moon rising before night was waking. Saw big winds whisper before leaves were shaking. Whip crack of dawn light, first spring ice breaking, portent of snow slide in the years turning. Tracked as a wolf might, the caribou's wandering, learned at his making. When words are spoken, there is no unsaying. When earth is broken, there is no returning. The Yukon winds its arms round inlets, reed beds, stranded isles, glacial silt washed down from mountains to the river's lip, sheer sandbanks undercut by currents, pocked with swallows' nests. He's standing where he always stands, high on the warty outcrop. Look out for bark canoes, graceful and marvelously light skimming towards his village with their wares, but not for this. This silence shredded to a din, these shrieking clouds, this spume, this smash, this loud flotilla on the water snake. How could there be so many in the world? Swift on his moccasins, he scrambles down he shouts in the fields, he shouts in the fish camp, he runs like the hare to tell them, tells them that the white man comes again, lights fires on their land, takes fish for dog food, cuts down trees, tramples the sweet grass, makes rivers run backwards, turns mountains inside out. Until our fallen warriors return, the wise chief says, we will be moose calves in a land of wolves. When they came like the mosquito, chieftain told Raven, Raven, fly away with our songs, for no one else must sing them. When Hammer Water spoke of chattering tongues on salmon weirs and hunting grounds, Chieftain asked Moon to light three fires to save them. When mountains spoke of steeps and hollows eaten out in one short, fickle season, Chieftain asked Bear to store their memories until times came good to share them. <laughs> 